this class <clears throat> we will be discussing new indian cinema as it expressed itself in the western part of the country we will be concentrating on at least one exceedingly important film in gujarati namely ketan mehta's bhavni bhavai and several in marathi to start with bhavni bhavai you see gujarati cinema has not been known for originality it has largely been a derivative cinema imitative depending on the inferior quality of films i would say made in bombay now when something as fantastic happened as fantastic as bhavni bhavai not only were film aficionados in gujarat or in the western part of the country but in the entire country they felt very happy something like suddenly a rich fruit bearing tree had appeared in the midst of a barren waste in this connection let us go to ketan mehta's words mehta came prepared from the film institute in pune he said while i was in college i was active in street theater from college we would go out on the road into juggies meaning slums and put up instant one act plays against imperialism at the film institute i realized all cinema is political it either wants change or cunningly maintains the status quo every film reflects the ideology of its director whether he supports justice or evil mehta's debut film babni bhavai represents the kind of start to an artist's career which exists only in dreams the bhavai is a form of folk drama in gujarat which fuses many arts into socially relevant communication mehta was only 28 years of age when he chose this form to mount his crusade against untouchability You see there used to be a time in the history of Gujarat where the untouchables we would call them dalits now had to go around wearing several symbols of their degraded status they had to wear a third sleeve as a mark of submission to the brahmins and the upper castes they had used to carry a spittoon around their neck because they were not allowed to spit outside they had to wear a broom as a third leg between their two legs and things like that anybody who was found transgressing was dealt with severely kaam shidne band karavi um ab hukum karo etli var rotlo khave unchu nahi joiye ha have to pani nikalse tyare jampi sho re mur khao pani hem nikalti hoyse पत्रीस लक्षणा नो भोग आप विना बाव कोरी था को रज रह बत्री लखाणो चौथी लाव हाँ जे ने माला नो दीको जीवो नाव असाइथ ठाकोर ए गुजराती पोएट एन अ सोशल रिफॉर्मर हु वॉज एक्चुअली अ ब्राह्मण 
some hundreds of years ago, he wrote a lot against untouchability and used the Bhabhai form to express himself. So this film was a radical as much in its form as in its politics. Bhavni Bhavai was, however, unfortunately, the kind of special event that Mehta was destined not to revisit in a disappointingly uneven career. Ketan Mehta made another important film, not as important as Bhavni Bhavai, but certainly uh, one capable of doing uh, credit to his uh, the image that he had, the reputation he had formed with uh, Bhavni Bhavai, that was Mirch Masala. But after that, we find a steady decline in the quality of his work. We now move on to Marathi cinema. The early films of the actor turned director, Amol Palekar, especially Akrit, it's a, a film that uh, talks about uh, the barrenness of a woman and uh, records to superstition to have a child. Another very important film in Marathi, uh, Sarvasakshi by Ramdas Putane. And then we have the other kind of uh, films in uh, Marathi new cinema. That's Jabbar Patel's Sinhasan and Umbartha. Umbartha is about a spirited young wife who takes on a job. And uh, after some initial uh, conflict, friction with her husband, um, they settle down to a tentative peace. And Sinhasan about uh, the waywardness of the political class. Now, New Indian cinema is not particularly noted for period pieces. Uh, historical films by Indian directors have lacked authenticity, mainly. Very, you'll, you'll be able to give me very few examples. But one Marathi film which may be favorably cited in this context is Nachiket and Jayu Patwardhan's 22nd June 1897. This film was about the young Shafekar brothers of Pune who assassinated two British officers and all the brothers were sentenced to death. This film was noted for the atmosphere of the period that was evoked. The directors are particularly good in their sense of decor. And the story was told in a moving, authentic idiom. So this film, which has, uh, I think, been overlooked by some people, uh, ought to be assessed anew. Now we arrive at more recent times, when Maharashtra, especially Pune, the Pune school, they are redefining, so to say reinventing 
new Indian cinema. A new avatar is appearing before our eyes. Very contemporary, very relevant, very modern, entertaining in its own way and questioning all the same, questioning accepted values. The two names very important in this context are Sumitra Bhave, a sociologist turned filmmaker, and her artistic collaborator Sunil Suktankar, a trained filmmaker from the Pune Film Institute. They came to the fore with their very first film called Doghi, which is about two sisters. But you see, after that, they have also made a couple of films and on hindsight, we can say that they, they were honing their skills till they surprise us with a gem of a film called Vastu Purush, Guardian Spirit of the House, made in 2002 and follow it up with an even more accomplished work called A Cup Chai, A Cup of Tea, 2009. This is a expression almost synonymous with contemporary Indian life where corruption is an institution. It touches each of us in some way or the other. Every day we pretend it doesn't exist, but it does. And it's better for us to confront this malaise through such a film than to try and hide the dirt under the carpet. Ekap Chai, Kashinath Savant, a humble bus conductor with the Maharashtra Red Roadways, is suddenly slapped with an electricity bill in the region of 70,000 rupees. This is a story with which many a modern Indian can identify himself or herself. He goes from pillar to post telling the Babus there is something wrong with the bill. Please have it amended. Instead of listening to his pleas, they cut the connection. Literally and metaphorically, he and his family, consisting of a young wife, an old mother, three grown-up children, all of them are plunged in the dust. Thanks to a piece of legislation called Right to Information and to the solid support of a social activist and the support of some of his colleagues, among whom are conductors, drivers, cleaners, how Kashinath redeems his honor, makes, humbles the bureaucracy, the local bureaucracy. This is the stuff of which this film is made. Sayyid bhai. Sayyid bhai. 
गाड़ी आई थी अजून कोल्हापूर घाटामध्ये जा जाम आहे तोवर मी जरा वीज मंडळाच्या हापूसमध्ये जाऊन येऊ अर्ध्या तासात लवकर या लाईन असली की लवकर परत येतो पण तू सांभाळ बघतो बघतो हा डबा ठेव त्र्याहत्तर हजार बिल आहे तुमचं रोग देणार आहात काय बिलात काहीतरी घोटाळा झालाय बाई घोटाळा तुमचं काय मंदिर ट्रस्ट आहे की कारखाना आहे प्रायव्हेट पार्टी आहे प्रायव्हेट पार्टी किती महिन्यांची थकबाकी आहे थकबाकी काय नाही दर महिन्याला भरतो आम्ही चोरून वगैरे विकता की काय नाही बिलात काहीतरी घोटाळा झालाय घोटाळा कसा असेल घोटाळा असेल तर हे माझं काम नाही तुम्ही लाईन वन नाही तर अकाउंट कोण असेल त्यांना भेटा चला पण त्र्याहत्तर हजार बिल कसं काय चला हे माझं काम नाही मी फक्त बिल भरून घेण्याचं काम माझं आहे तुम्ही त्या लाईन वन आणि अकाउंटला भेटा हो मागे माणसं बघा किती आहे पण त्र्याहत्तर काहीतरी तुम्ही ऐकून तर घ्या ना काय आम्हाला आणखी कामं नाहीत की काय माणसाचं खोळवली आहेत तिथे काय वाटत नाही तुम्हाला चला साहेब साहेब काय आहे साहेब मीटर फॉल्ट आहे बदलून घ्यायचा आहे कोणी सांगितलं तुम्हाला मीटर फॉल्ट आहे म्हणून नाही ते बिल भरा गेलो होतो त्या बिल फार जास्त आलंय साहेब वीज कुणी वापरली तुम्ही का आम्ही आम्हीच पण इतकी नाही ते मीटर ठरवेल मागची बिल आणलीत नाही ती आधी घेऊन या गाव कोण कुर्ली कुर्ली कर मागची बिल आणा आणि मग बोला द काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम दॅट वी हॅव गिव्हन आर सेल्फ इट इज व्हेरी इझी फॉर एनी ऑफ अस ऑफ अस टू लूज आवर कूल द काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन्स वी हॅव टू फेस people who talk of democracy often resort to the most undemocratic methods and other there are attendant evils but to keep the cool and not lose sight of the goal that is what these directors are saying in what i perceive to be an almost earthly wisdom this is about Suktankar and Bhave their Pune flat is has virtually become a hot house for young plants to grow meaning young directors making their work in Marathi not wanting to lose themselves in the jungle of a Bombay Hindi commercial they are they have gathered around Sumitra and Sunil the foremost among them are Umesh Kulkarni who has made three films each one better than the last he started out with Valu the bull then Vihir the well and finally wins a couple of years ago the Swarnakamal as best film of the year Deul the temple Nachada Nachada lagli chulna आत्ता चल ना रे प्लीज प्लीज चल ना रात्रीचं चांदण किती छान दिसत ना आईला चांदण खूप आवडत ती बऱ्याचदा रात्री अंगणात बसते कधी विचारलं तर म्हणते बापाची वाट बघती पण मला तर नेहमी ती चांदण बघतानाच दिसली बापांना कधी पाहिलंय का नाही कोणाच ठोक असं टक लावून बघत राहिलं ना की खूप माया करतात असं वाटत जणू आपलीच माणसं आई आजी आजोबा 
ताईडी भावशा मामा अशू अंशू सोनी सगळेच प्रत्येकाची एक एक चांदणी आणि माझी तुझी तुझी ती नाही ती नाही <laughs> परसा कडला गेली बहुत <laughs> and sachin kundalkar the other one his notable films are restaurant and gand smell idhe stamne yete tumhala ogi sel pata sala ta ta evda vina संध्याकाळपासून तुम्ही माझ्या मागावर होतात बसमध्ये माझ्या मागे आलात घरापर्यंत आलात खिडकी मागे लपून होतात मला कळलं होत मी मला तुम्ही असो तुमच्या घरी तुम्ही जायची वाट बघतात सगळे माझ्या घरी कुणीतरी यायची म्हणजे मी नाही माझी आई मनानं फार चांगली आहे तिला अशी स्वतंत्र हुशार मुलगी सून म्हणून हवी आहे केव्हा कुठे जायचं हे आपलं आपण ठरवणारी न घाबरणारी माझा रुमाल बेटू अबाउट आवर सचिन कुंदलकर हिज फिल्म रेस्टोरंट इज अबाउट टू वुमेन विथ इमोशनल स्कार्स हु गेट टुगेदर टू स्टार्ट अ स्मॉल रेस्टोरंट एंड they show that it is possible to make a profit each month without resorting to many of the methods that hotel honchos big hotels resort to पद्माका तुम्ही घरामध्ये वेगळ्या स्वयंपाक घर असं नाही केलं का आणि जेने विरुद्ध निकाल लागला तर उद्या आज इथ झोप तू सो विथ दिस वी कन्क्लूड द फायनल लेसन थर्ड अँड फायनल a uh, new indian cinema a view from the west now uh, if you have any questions i'll try and answer them as well as i can it's all right sir it's okay it's okay so thank you for your attention <laughs>